Welcome to Warriors TV and tonight we have Warriors captain Dean Holland here with us. Dean, how's it going? Yeah, not bad. Um, just getting uh, getting ready for the season, enjoying my last couple of weekends off. Yeah, how have you been spending your time off? I know you, you've been doing your bike racing still, so how's that going? Yeah, it, it's going pretty well. Um, we've got a couple of weekends left. Uh, in one, in the, one this month and two in next month and then we're done for the year. I know it must be important, obviously, with um, two former Warriors players there alongside you. So that's that's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it, to have DJ and uh, and Martin there, who two people yeah. you've known for many years, of course. Yes, yeah, we'll get on great. You know, it's uh, we'll have a laugh when we're there, and it's like home from home. Really, it's uh, it's good fun. And how's uh, parenthood treating you? Because um, obviously, that's sort of happened since uh, since lockdown, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I, uh, I love it. She's uh, getting, she's starting to get a personality, and she's uh, quite funny, telling us to go away and stuff. So, be enjoying <laughs> us. Well, that's great to hear. Um, now, in terms of hockey preparation, um, there was sort of a stint earlier in the summer where Lobby and Paul had used coming in for training. Um, there was then a, a, a stoppage for that, and now we've just started up again um, this week, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, obviously we'll we'll practice for a for a while. Um, I think it was a couple of months, maybe, and it was good laughing. All the lads got on great, and we we just had a, uh, a scrimmage at, at every Friday night, and you know it was just good to be back on the ice and have that bit big social 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 <laughs> social uh, gathering, and yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, I got the impression certainly from when we spoke to various lads at the golf days last year and this year. Was it was that sort of um, social side that you all were missing? Um, so I suppose stuff like that was as important as it was to do the, the on ice conditioning. Yeah, definitely. I, I think obviously getting uh, getting amongst each other again and uh, obviously having a laugh, and I think that obviously brings everything back. And it was uh, it was great to be part of. Uh, last week we got the confirmation that the league season is starting back next month. So uh, I'm assuming you must be really excited about that. Yeah, yeah, kind of. We obviously it's been a long 18 months of no competition, and uh, do you know, like at the start, maybe it was like welcome that we had a little break, but after a while, you like I do miss the competition. Yeah, I, I can well imagine. And I mean, 18 months off is probably the longest in any of years have, have had away from the sport, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've never had it. Well, since I was 10, I've never had a year off. So to have Apart from, I think I missed about three months with an injury. Apart from that, I've, every year I've played. You think part of that is because it's been so long that perhaps a lot of people are now probably thinking, you know, we, we want it even more now. We've missed it because it's been such so long. So that sort of thirst and, and hunger for the sport is perhaps greater and it would be after a normal sort of off-season. Yeah, without a doubt. I think the first first maybe say 10 12 games is going to be fast it's going to be hard i think everyone's going to be like eager to get going and i think it's going to be really competitive now you've been named captain again this year and i know it's a role that you've relished in previous seasons so uh i'm i'm assuming you must be delighted to to continue that yeah obviously it's great to be the captain of the warriors it's uh there's been a lot of big names had that had that say over the years um and it's it's great to try and lead this team, but there's lots of different people in there who can lead the team just as well as me. There is a lot of natural leaders, but I, I certainly think um, one game probably stands out more than any was the last season we played was perhaps that weekend when we played Murrayfield. Um, it wasn't the overall best performance by the lads throughout that season, but individually, I thought you were brilliant, and I thought you really led. And by example, as a captain, and um, you know, f- for me, even though it was a disappointing result from a personal level, I thought you were you were great over that whole weekend. Uh, thank you. I, um, yeah, I enjoyed them games. It was uh, it was good to be part of. Obviously, we did come out on the wrong end of the scoreline, and I think over the two games, Murrayfield did deserve to win. Um, but I think that made we hungry to win that league title, and then. We were trying to push on for that playoff title as well. And obviously you did secure that uh, league title a few weeks later. And as captain, got to lift the trophy. And that was the first sort of silverware 
you'd been a part of with the Warriors, wasn't it? Yeah, I've never been a part of any any trophies with Whitley Bay. Um, it was great to lift that trophy, being the captain as well. And it's been it's been a long time coming. I last won a trophy. I think it was 2013 when I played in Guildford with um, with Ben and Lobby. Uh, so it's been a long time. Yeah. So and obviously congratulations on that. That was uh, a long time ago now, of course. But um, you mentioned as well the playoffs and the championship game which should have been played was cancelled and that is probably a little bit of frustration there that you didn't get an opportunity to win more last time out yeah without a doubt I think the playoff the playoff title was definitely something worth chasing and you know them games are going to be really hard um, it comes it just comes down to on the day who turns up on the day it's all the league form and everything goes out the window And um, but I think it's definitely something we could have aimed for yeah, of course. Um, looking ahead to this season, do you think that there's um, a very good chance that we can maybe put some of that right and claim a, a few more pieces of silverware this season? I think it'll be very hard. It's really hard to claim back-to-back titles. Um, obviously, everybody will be gunning for you, seeing the, the previous year's champion. Um, but I think we've got a team to work hard and hopefully we'll uh, be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. Yeah, and there's one or two new faces coming in this season, so um, you'd expect them to bed in nicely and um, and add to the quality that we've already got. Oh, without a doubt, and obviously Chalmers, uh, he's a very good defenseman. I played with him in Dundee, and he's going to bring a lot of experience to the to the defence that we already had, which was already pretty decent. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like it's going to be um, a massive plus point the, the blue line this season. Yeah, without a doubt, I think um, it'll really help with when it comes to big games, having that player with extra experience and the skating ability that he's got. Yeah. Uh, just saying there about the uh, this upcoming season and there to be be shot at, but you probably suspect it would be the usual teams up there, the likes of uh, Solway and Solihull, that would be our main challenges, would you say? Yeah, but I think... Um, Obviously, every team hasn't finished signing their players for this year. Um, so we'll have to obviously wait and see. And all we can do is just prepare with what team we've got and work. And if we we'll work hard, I'm sure we'll, we'll be fine. Well, we're looking forward to it, Dean. And as always, absolute pleasure talking to you. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.